Okay, so the look at axis should be X and the up axis should be Z. And we need to chuck in a target bone, of course, otherwise it won't know what to point at. And this would be the back right tire. Actually, it will be the left tire. Like so. So, in the net effect will be if I go and find my back left tire here. And if I chuck in a value and displace the wheel, you can see how the axle follows it now. Okay, so that's the process. So, my look at constraint, I'll give a name. And I'll call it my back left axle look at for identification purposes. And I can just copy and paste this a few times. So I'm going to get my back right axle. Like so. It's flipped the wrong way. What I can do is invert the look at axis. Oh, it's still pointed the wrong tire. I should change it, of course. Back right first. Oh, don't have to invert it. Nice. So I just change the name as well. So there's a few steps with this, but it works quite well. And let's paste again. Hook it up to my front left axle. Let's go around and have a look. It's flipped again. We'll be pointing at the wrong axle actually. So let's call this front left axle look at. And change this look at target to front. Okay. And finally, one more. Go to the front left axle. And again, it's looking the wrong way. So this would be front right. And we should give it the proper name. Right. Okay, so we should have back left, back right, front left, front right. And that's it. So we've set up the controller, which will basically be able to plug in the code now. Okay. Nice. So let's close that off. And we should save our asset. Like so. Alright, so... I use Notepad++ and I'm going to look for my code that I would like to use in this example and what I'll do is go to UK, UK July. I'm not going to go through the code at all. Um, this can be left to some other time. So development, source, UDT, game, classes that modified. Okay, and use this one here. Okay, so I'll link this code in uh, through YouTube. You probably find it on my website as well. Uh, but generally, just copy and paste this one, and should be good to go. A few things you need to change though is the class name. So mine's called UT Vehicle Race Car. This has to be the name of the UC as well, or the uh, Unreal class. So I'm going to call this Toot Race Car to match the name of my UPK package. And that should be basically it for that section. If we step through it, what we have here is uh, where we set or define the class. We create a variable called camera tag, which is where our uh, basically our camera will attach to float for camera offset. There's probably a few in here you don't really need at this stage. Um, <clears throat> and then we define some camera options and some uh, selections for changing the camera. And then we output the camera down here. We have our set up our default properties. This you can play with yourself. Uh, essentially this should work quite well. Uh, but uh, this will be nice for us. Okay, 
This important thing though is to plug in our vehicle itself. So we have Skittle Mesh VH race car race car. So what I want to do is I'm going to copy or hit this uh, Skittle Mesh and go right click and I'm going to uh, basically uh, copy full name to clipboard and flicking back to my script. I can just paste this into here. Okay. So for animation tree is the same. So you give it animation tree, go copy full name, flipboard, flick back to my script, and do our animation tree template like that. Okay, back to animation tree, and this time physics asset. So we're gonna copy full name the clipboard, and paste in this value here. Okay, like so. So here is the names are very important. So the bone naming, if you stuck to what I had just done, uh, this should work perfectly for you. So again, I'm not going to go into explaining uh, any of this. This you can figure out on your own time. The big one here, of course, is this one, center of gravity. But this should do. So I'm going to file. I'm going to save as. So let's go up so I get the correct name. I'm going to save it as Toot Race Car. I'll save as. So UT Vehicle. Nope. Just paste that. Race Car. So this should go into your UT game classes under Source Development. So this is your folder structure here. And save. Alright, so how do we compile that? Okay, so I'm just going to close down UDK. So make sure my toot race car is saved. Okay, and just close it. And what I'm going to do is go into my binaries Win32. And what will happen is if you next time you run the editor, okay, I've basically created a shortcut for running the editor here. It was supposed to ask me if I wanted to compile. Interesting. Okay, probably because I saved it in the wrong spot. Let's try to save this again. File, save as. Where am I? July, UDK, classes. Shoot, race car. Oh, okay, okay, it's just as a text file. Okay, so no problem. So development, source, UT game, classes, date modified. There it is. And there you go. Need to put the extension UC. And now it's a UC file. So when we go back and run our editor, it will ask you, the scripts are outdated. Would you like to rebuild now? Yes, of course I will. And off it goes. Okay, I got some warnings because I do, in that example, using a bunch of variables, which I am not using. Don't worry. Uh, the red ones that come up and say error are the ones you want to watch out for. Okay, close that and launch a UDK editor again. And what we'll do is go to active classes and you should see your vehicle appear in here. It's done correctly. So highlighting it, a little left mouse dragging it to the screen will make it appear. And I'm just going to play in the viewer. And all right, room, room, sweet. So it's working. Okay, in the future I want to add up, get the steering wheel working, which would be nice, but essentially I'm working. Sweet. Nice, so my vehicle has a camera working. Zoom. And yeah, it works beautifully. And that's it. So if you can do that, you're pretty much good to go. Thanks very much. See ya.